Hello friends, my name is Jessica and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get 100 on the ATIT 7 science section. When I took the T's test I remember being extremely stressed because the exam is a major obstacle for getting into nursing school. I know how challenging it is trying to figure out what you need to know for the science section of the ATIT's exam. In this video we will cover how to prepare what you need to study, the exam layout, and a plan for success. The science section of the exam covers anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, and scientific reasoning. The first thing you need is to understand the exam. So in anatomy and physiology, you need to understand cells, cell theory, replication, and different types of organelles. For anatomy and physiology, you need to understand the different systems of the body, how they work, how they're structured, their different roles and responsibilities, and different anatomical planes of the body. For biology, you'll need to understand macromolecules, chromosomes, genes, DNA, different theories of genetics and hereditary. Chemistry, you'll need to understand atomic structure, characteristics of substances, different types of elements, and chemical reactions. And for the scientific reasoning section, you'll need to understand different measurements and metrics as well as data from experiments. The second thing you need to know is get resources. So figure out what resources you feel like will work best for you. My recommendations are there's quite a few books covering the ATIT's exam. However, I have found that some of them are extremely vague. So when I was taking my exam, that led to me looking for outside resources and just taking up a ton of time researching. I remember feeling like I really wished there was a packet of information that built everything from the ground up that I needed to know so I didn't need to spend time trying to put together different resources of what I needed to study and how to understand the concepts for the science portion of the ATITs. This is why I think the best resource for the ATIT 7 science portion is the ATIT's 7 science course, which I created and will be linked down below so you guys can check it out. This course is packaged so you know exactly what you need to study and you have all of the information to thrive on the ATIT's seven science portion of the exam. You can easily have all of the resources available to you, which helps to take the guesswork out of finding supplemental materials and additional resources. The course includes 25 modules with video lectures, supplemental PDFs, and unit quizzes. The video lectures are an in-depth overview of the essential information that you need to know because it is essential to truly understand the scientific concepts we need to work Work from the ground up. Having a vague overview of material is not going to be helpful. We are going to walk through step by step what you need to know for the T's exams to truly understand all of the information for the science portion. These lectures include discussions, notes, and diagrams. The module quizzes include over 250 practice problems, and these will help to reinforce the concepts within the lectures by using active recall and space repetition, which has scientifically been proven to be the best study techniques. Additionally, I think practice problems are a very helpful resource. So to get some practice problems, you can have 250 practice problems from within the course, but then there's also a Quizlet deck, which has over 28 science Quizlet decks, which can be paired with the modules within the course. But you need to know what is best for you, so identifying what resources you're going to be using for the exam is essential so that we then can create a successful plan. The third important thing to know for the ATIT 7 science portion is to understand the test layout. So when it comes to the test layout, you want to be familiar with the topics that you'll be asked the amount of time you have for that section, how many questions are in that section, and what are the question formats. So let's take a look at part of the ATIT 7 science course exam overview lecture to better understand this content. So the ATIT 7 science section consists of 18 questions in human anatomy and physiology, nine questions in biology, eight questions in chemistry, and nine questions in scientific reasoning. 
The total amount of questions you will take when you take the ATIT 7 science section is 50, but only 44 will count towards your score because there are six unscored questions, and these typically are questions that they are testing out to put on future exams. And the time limit is going to be 60 minutes, so you can think that you have roughly a little over a minute per question. So let's go over the types of questions that you will see on the exam. So you're going to have your basic multiple choice question where you have a question and you have four or five answers and you choose which one is the correct answer. You will then also have alternative items. There are four types. So we have multiple select items, also known as select all that apply. We have a supply the answer question. So this will be like a blank question, like you'll have a question with a blank box where you write in the answer. We'll have hotspot items where you will point out a specific hotspot and we'll have an ordered response type of question. So let's go over those. So your multiple select items, drag me over, uh, there, these will be presented with a list of four or more possible answers to a question and more than one may be correct. There will be a note on these questions that say select all that apply. And to answer the questions correctly, you have to select all the answers. There's no partial credit. So we have over here, just like a sample question. So ATIT 7 science section includes select all that apply. So we know it does include human anatomy and physiology. It does include biology, chemistry, and scientific reasoning. So you would select all of these. A great technique for select all that apply questions is make it a true or false question. So we would look at this and be like, ATIT science section includes human anatomy and physiology, true or false. If it's true, we check it off. If it's false, we leave it blank. And same with the rest of the answers. So that is a good technique to use when answering multiple select items. Then we have a supply the answer items. So these questions require you to provide the answer or fill in the blank. It could be text or numerical values. So we can just see here 10 times three, we would write 30 in the box and then move on to the next question. So now this is called a hotspot item. Let's move me over here. So for hotspot items, it's going to include an image with two to five clickable areas. And you're required to click on the area that the image identified as the correct response. So where would you find the aortic valve? So we have our four hotspots here. And after you take this course, or maybe you already know, but the answer would be right here is the aortic valve. So this would be where we click this purple, and that would be how we answer the hotspot question. Then we have an ordered response item. For ordered response items, these questions require you to place a set of response options in the correct order. You drag between four to six response options from a box on the left, which would be here, to a box on the right. And these questions um, have to be answered in the correct order. There's no partial credit. So you're going to get a list and this is your unordered side. So in what order does the blood flow through the heart once it leaves the lungs? Here are our unordered responses, and then we would drag and drop them into the correct order. And then lastly, you want to plan for success. You want to give yourself adequate time to study and set up a study plan. I highly recommend printing out a calendar for the allotted amount of time that you want to study. So if it's a month, you'll print out a calendar that is a one month view. Within this calendar, then you can break it down day by day. What are your achievable goals in studying for the ATIT science portion of the exam? For example, you could do one module of the ATIT seven science course paired with its supplemental PDF activity, as well as the quiz. And if you really want to give yourself some more practice problems to reinforce the material, you can pair it with its corresponding Quizlet deck. You also want to make sure to practice stress reducing techniques. It can be very nerve-wracking going into the ATIT's exam 
And something that is really helpful is deep belly breathing. It activates something called our vagus nerve, which actually slows down our heart rate and helps us relax. And you also want to remind yourself that you have taken the steps to be successful on this exam. You want to encourage yourself and let yourself know, I have prepared adequately for this, and that can help to reduce the exam stress. The ATIT7 can feel like a barrier between you and your dream of becoming a nurse. I am here to support you on your nursing journey. These resources are created to give you everything you need to be successful on the ATIT7 science portion of the exam. So make sure to prepare adequately, know the exam, practice stress reducing techniques and get your resources together and remember if you prepare adequately you will do great on the exam and being nervous is normal i know you guys can do this and i'm here to help you along the way so make sure to check out those resources down below i highly recommend the atit 7 science course we really walk through everything you need to know step by step from the ground up so you can be successful on your atit 7 science portion of the exam see you guys next time bye